Hello gentle ladies and gentlemen, I warn you do not adjust your sets, this is indeed Ari bringing you some TF2 gameplay commentary on King of the Hill Nucleus. I am playing the black box soldier, I have the black box, a strange black box in fact equipped with the buff banner and everybody's favourite melee weapon, yep it's the equaliser. And I thought I'd bring you some different gameplay to what Zeus did, Zeus brought you the rocket jumper, I'm just bringing out the straight damage gameplay here. Uh, King of the Hill Nucleus is actually something that I didn't enjoy playing on before. The first time I actually forced myself to play on it and in, sort of enjoyed it was when Machinima did their 24 hour live stream with Germa985. I will link his channel in the description. He is an amazing commentator for TF2 and he's got a grandpa series on Machinima. He's helped us a lot so thank you very much and uh, I think that's the end of the man loving for this episode so let's get into the gameplay. I would like to address the pros and cons of the buff banner because I think it's a very underrated weapon but at the same time the shotgun is extremely useful and this is an example why. So there is a NG over there, I can see the mini sentry that's down so he's clearly put up another one. Pyro comes along, I managed to take him out, I know that NG is still there but he has a shotgun and I'm sitting here trying to hit him with a rocket. I don't have the right rate of fire and I pay the price for it. So having learnt that I realised that yes he's in that corner. So I'm going to go out and try and get some redemption here. I look at the point, I see we've got it locked down, just a little stray bullet there or there just to make sure that nobody's trying to cap that point and I go back to where I was before. Now, I'm expecting the sentry to be here, or I'm expecting this engineer to be here. It's pretty clear right now, I'm trying to be sneaky. Two people going on the point, rocket blows one to the side and off the edge, one dies from that. Spy finds that sentry, takes it down, I'm sorry I almost stole that from you, I really didn't mean to, but that NG is here. And here is that nest. Now you see me barraging it with rockets, and you can see that rage meter is filling really, really quickly. That crit rocket does it, the kill feed is going crazy, buff back Banner goes up. This pyro, who was the last one to kill me last time, I think, definitely no nonsense from him. That extra health actually saved me. I was burning to death. And as you can see, my health is in the 20 to 30 region while I'm still burning. And these rockets are the only thing that are keeping me alive. I find the scout for some reason standing still on the point. You don't do that on Nucleus. That's how you get annoyed and lose. I pick up a second buff banner here. I see everybody. My team is coming out. They're capping the point real quick. You know, there's two of them on there. That demo man was just camping there in the corner so here it's flashing red the buff banner is ready maximum usage there everybody gets it team buff banner there they've already capped the point but we have enough power to push them off i luckily fall down to the under bits on the grating and i am fine and this is still a one life i'm surprised as well as you that i've actually survived this long with two separate buff banners and a to be honest, I don't know how I got the kill there. That was two rockets. I think that was luck more than anything. I think that was lag more than anything because I wasn't sure that I even picked him up here. And sadly, I get a bit overzealous. We've capped the point. Well, I think I'm capping the point here. And I stand still for too long. And I get my comeuppance there by a rocket. So... This round is actually one of my best, this is the last life of that round, so as you can see it's on overtime, Zeus is screaming, this was actually recorded in Skype while we were playing, and uh, he was like, get on the point, we need to cap it otherwise we will lose. 26 seconds to go, I'm trying my best to stop any other nests or any other soldiers getting involved because in such a close space, all you need is a rocket, not even to kill you, but just to push you off the middle. And again, they're pushing, they're pushing hard. I somehow rocket jump into the top, get a team defense there. Five seconds to go, pick up a domination as well. And here we go, it's the last couple of seconds. Just need to whittle them away, make sure they don't get on. And a second place for us, for me on the team. That was incredible. That's showing you how useful the buff banner actually is. Now this was the second game on the same map and this is 
a whole load of sort of facepalm moments and reasons why you should have a shotgun and not the buff banner. And I find that I'm okay against soldiers for some odd reason, they don't tend to pull out secondaries, but pyros, pyros, pyros are the bane of my life. I try and pick up that second soldier who doesn't even know I'm there. His buddy is about to come around the corner with a flamethrower and that mouse one in W mode is something that you can't protect yourself against and it's basic mathematics. The rate of fire of that rocket launcher is nowhere near the rate of fire of that flamethrower. And even if I get one single rocket off on him, that pyro has enough health to continually just walk through me. And that three rocket system rather than four, this is where you actually notice it. Because there you go, two shots, three shots, I could have gone down and picked him off. No, Girardi and a random no scope and that's what kills me here. Anyway, this is the last life and this is further proof that really you've got to know how to use the buff banner but if you can use it very well and you know to keep your distance you will be a-okay. This gameplay is now as I said coming to an end. Nothing but a pyro will finish me off here. That soldier bites the dust there and there you go. He also magically bites the dust. I think the engineer helped me there and of course they're going to have more. But this gameplay is coming to an end. I hope you found it useful. This is Ari. Over and out.